what is up everybody today we are back out and about um gonna do some dock fishing i got myself some sand fleas that i dug up and we're just going to fish them on some bottom sweeper jigs uh on some docks possibly some rock piles so stay tuned all right so we're gonna start out with a half, uh, quarter ounce bottom sweeper and a sand flea and all i'm gonna do kind of feed it through in fact the further you feed it through the better there we go and then i'm just gonna trim a portion off to get the scent in start right here see if anything's on this piling to start oh there we go what did we just hook first drop maybe sheep is my guess doesn't have the tog feel to it Yeah, it's a sheep. No, black drum. Oh, that's so cool. That's a that's a pleasant surprise. I know they're around, but man, that's cool. That's uh definitely what I wasn't expecting. Nice. All right. I'll tell you what, that's a pleasant surprise. I'm happy I got one of these guys while we were down here kind of cool they got a little sleep sea lice but i don't know if you just heard them drumming they have to be um 16 inches to keep which this guy's definitely well over 16 there he goes but figure let's let him go let him live and see that's the cool thing about this dock fishing man uh yesterday we had like five or six different species today first drop we already got something different that we haven't caught before uh you know on docks around here back home i get them around docks but it's like real hit or miss man it's like i think there there are some around back home but i think it's more of a niche fishery um i feel like there's so many more tog and uh oyster crackers and sea bass around that it kind of makes it tough to individually target black drum back home without catching your fair share of um, interference fish but I'm trying to see we caught him on the end of that dock I'm gonna try back here I'm seeing some decent marks on the bottom but I'm also seeing some croaker 100% some croakers because they just are so schooled up right now and don't get me wrong I don't mind catching croakers but kind of trying to target something a little bit bigger sheep's head drum stripers those all will give you a solid fight even you know I, I even say those big uh croakers do give you a good fight to be honest with you so don't want to sell them down the river they're they're a lot of fun to actually catch and they're actually not bad to eat you just gotta like if you get the bigger ones like those you know 14 15 inch plus fish it's a lot easier to cull out those little pin bones that they have Oh, there we go. Oh, little tog. Jeez. Had my hopes up. There we go. myself out not sure what we just hooked tog maybe croaker striper a little striper oh, a little striper with a diaper all right we're gonna let this little rat go off he goes so I'm gonna get myself another sand flea. Maybe uh, we just caught a few tog on that last piling. I'm gonna shift over here, see if anything's kind of 
hanging, lurking down here. end of it that stuff definitely makes a huge difference in my opinion sometimes they're a little slow to hit it without that scent in the water also I think sometimes it triggers a bite they might not be hungry sometimes but I think sometimes if they smell it it's like their instinct to just go after it there we go Tog. Ooh, easy, buddy. There you go. Drop it back down. But he came back for it. There we go. Another tog. Man. A little bigger than the last one. Not by much, but still bigger. There he goes. Alright, drop it right here. There we go. Another tog is my guess, possibly. No. Bigger croaker. back you don't necessarily have to be inside the the dock to get on these fish sometimes they hang adjacent to it like that last fish was just right right off the dock oh there it is there we it's like there's a school right off the corner here. Dang. That one freaking, look at that. That's a hefty size croaker if it could inhale a bottom sweeper jig like that. Like, look at that. These jigs aren't easy to swallow, man. He was not getting away. Hey, it seems like every time I get to this corner of this dock right here, and drop it right, right about there. Oh, it probably help if my bail is open. Seems like there's fish just sitting on the corner of it. There we go. Oh, dang, son. Ah, oh, I think this might be a toadfish. Yep. No, it's too good to be true. Man, monster toad. Look at this guy. That's like, I don't know, decent sized toadfish. Imagine getting the tournament board to measure that thing. over here. There we go. Oh, there we go. 
Not a croaker. No. Oh, I knew it was time. It's only eventually time to find a tiny black sea bass. I'm actually surprised it took that long. Usually they're all over the place. There we go. Ah, toad. Toadfish. Yikes.